Hi, this is an update on my update on the demonic faces and demonic creatures in the Gulf. And the reason why I'm making this is because another YouTuber got my attention with a comment that she just left. She said, look to the right of this picture. Is that a baby in the hands of a demon? So I watched the video again and I thought, oh my goodness, I never even noticed that. So I went through the Russia Today news videos. Video that I used for the update on demonic faces and demonic creatures in the Gulf and I couldn't find it. But I found this one instead. Like to you. Doesn't look very friendly, does it? I thought I'd make another video and tell you that if you stop the feed, if you back up and go forward, you can actually see the head of what appears to be a little baby. You can actually see it move forward and foot if you zero in on the foot you can actually see toes people this is strange this is so bizarre and it brought to mind if you go to Project Camelot and listen to the Aaron McCollum interview about the genetic experiments trying to create a part human and a part dolphin creature you'll be shocked he tells how as a very young child he was thrown into water and he thought he was drowning but he was pulled out and he heard these mad scientists on the dark side saying well he's alive he made it and he said many of the children they were using in this black ops genetic experiment didn't survive. They couldn't breathe underwater. So I don't know if they were mixing dolphin genes with human genes. I don't know how they were doing it. But this is very serious stuff. Very serious. This whole Gulf thing is one big disaster. I'm getting ready to do some videos on the effects of Corexit and the oil and the chemicals, what it's doing to all of us. It's very, very, very bad. But yet, you know, we need to get to the root of the problem. And this is the very root of the problem in the Gulf. I don't understand the baby. I really don't. But if you zero in on that foot, like I said, you'll be able to see the toes. And the YouTuber that brought this to my attention is the Kelly Ann 1111. And her comment was when she watched the update video, she said, Look to the right of this picture. Is that a baby in the hands of a demon? And I thought, what? How did I miss that? So I thought, well, that can probably easily be passed off as, you know, part of the equipment or something else. But when I found this video and I uh, enlarged it to full screen, I was stunned. I want you to go and do the very same thing and tell me what you think. Now, you will notice the head of what appears to be a little baby moving forward and the leg moving back. This is very terrible, horrible stuff that we're having to deal with. Very terrible. And I believe the dark side is in control of this whole scenario. What don't they want us to know and what don't they want us to see and what are they doing down there? Are they mining? Are they experimenting? Are they doing genetic experiments? Corexit is a mutagen. From my research, I have found out it mutates viruses and bacteria. Does it create new life forms? 
Does it mutate the old life forms? Are they trying to take the planet down and, and put totally new, weird, mutated creatures on the planet? I'd like to know your comments and what you think about all this. This is getting to the root of the problem. And we know that the evil ones are in control, but they're not going to be in control for very much longer. And they know it. This looks like the head of a demon to me. It is so huge. This is much worse than the other video I put up of basically the same scene. I can't get over this. Could they be doing strange genetic experiments on living human babies? Trying to force them to become aquatic creatures? The dark side is capable of doing anything, people. A lot of y'all need to wake up and realize that this is really happening and this is really going on. Thanks again to the Kelly Ann one 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 for bringing this to my attention. I'll put a link up for all of you so you can go and check this out for yourselves.